here we are at the start screen or dashboard for PictoChart. And I got here just by clicking on PictoChart.com. And from the dashboard, there are a few different types of creations I can make. Over on the left-hand side, I have infographics, presentations, and printables. And then in the middle, I have a create new button, which I can click and it will give me those three options as well. If I wanted to create an infographic, this would be something like a compare contrast chart or perhaps a flyer demonstrating how well your site did on state testing. I could click on infographic for presentation backgrounds. I can click on a presentation. These are pre-made backgrounds for PowerPoint or Google Slides presentations. And then we have printables for flyers, say for an upcoming PD or parent night. I'm going to click on infographic. And as you can see, when I click on that, it gives me a number of different options for layouts that I can choose from and then manipulate and edit. Some of these might be useful for teachers to use, others for administrators, and some for classrooms as well for student creation, like this All About Me. I can preview that. And if I want to use a template, I can go ahead and do that just by clicking the Use Template button. And now everything within this template is editable. I can put my name here. And write my fun facts. I can add in things that I like. Use icons. Again, everything is manipulatable. So I can make them bigger, smaller. I can delete them. I can replace them with other things. I have my options for things that I want to replace all of this with over on the left. I've got my shapes and icons. And as you can see, it's sorted by topic. I also have lines. I have photos. These are all available for you to use. And then frames for my photos as well to shape how my photo looks. And here's an example. The idea here is that PictoChart allows you to create better looking products, whether they be infographics or flyers or presentations, to help get your point across or to help your students create more visually appealing work. Once I have created my infographic or presentation or flyer, I can go ahead and save that just by clicking the Save button right up top, give it a title, And that will be saved. Now, PictoChart does have some features which require you to use the paid version. It's not terribly expensive. It's about $40 per year. However, we have found that the majority of the features in the free version are all that you will need to use within the classroom or your school site. If you would like to learn more about PictoChart or any other design programs out there, please reach out to Amy or I at any time, and we'd be happy to help you. Thanks for joining today.